Good afternoon. So it is Sunday. It's so beautiful out. It's like, I'd say it's 60. How warm do you say it? 60. 60 degrees out. We are installing Kaya's new and hopefully last car seat ever. We picked up the Greco Transitions uh, three-in-one car seat yesterday. We did the whole, I traded in my Inglesina tabletop fast chair. Um, it was that one, you know, her high chair that sat on the table. Uh, it's because they had that great trade-in thingy, so we got 25% off coupon, and we don't like Babies R Us, you guys know that. It's like torture going in there, so this is like the last thing that like, we feel like we'll ever have to go in there for. Uh, but this transitions car seats like exclusive to Babies R Us, so we had to go there for it, and they were the only one in our area that had the pink and gray one, which is the one that Kaya wanted. So the reason why we got this was because A, we're going to have to get her into a booster seat anyways, eventually, and B, because... Her other one was just so bulky. It's not bulky, I shouldn't say that. It's not bulky. But this one is just a little bit slimmer. So um, since we figured we have the coupon and whatever, it's great. Like so, so it'll be just the seat when she's a little bit older. Um, so yeah, so it's basically going to last her from 22 pounds to 100 pounds. So we're pretty excited and we're going to install it for her. Da 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 da! Yeah, I'm pretty excited. This is the last like baby thing that we'll ever have to purchase. Like John was taking the stroller out of the back of the trunk yesterday and he got all sad. And then he found some diapers that were left over and he got even more sad because our kids are like grown and like pretty soon we won't even need to bring the stroller anywhere and it's just gonna be like an empty trunk, you know? Like you never have room in your trunk because you have so much kid stuff and event like in the next year we won't have anything, so. We won't start loading it. Yeah, then it'll be loaded full of sports equipment and dance equipment and stuff. I don't know, read the directions. Oh, the other car seat came with that too. Read the directions. So this is the one that she was in before. It's a lot higher off the seat though, so the transition one's a lot lower, which I've heard that when your center of gravity is actually lower to the ground, um, you're safer. So, I don't know. The transitions car seat got really good reviews, so I'm not too worried. But yeah, our babies are all growing up. We're not gonna have babies for much longer. We really actually don't have any babies anymore. All of our kids are potty trained and sleeping through the night and it's sad. It's a momentous occasion, but it's also sad. We're gonna do this and then we're gonna take the kids and go to the park and take Nuna for a long walk. And then we're gonna go get some frozen yogurt because it's delicious. I had some yesterday and I'm craving it again. So uh, we're gonna go to a frozen yogurt place to have that. And then I have to work out later. I've worked out every day basically this last weekend. I went yesterday, the day before that. And then I have to work out tonight and then tomorrow will be my rest day because we have swim lessons with the kids. What do you think of your new car seat, Kaya? You like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah? <laughs> you look like quiet now. Yeah, big girl seat. Got the scooters, no pull. She's still pulling. I bought a gentle, not a gentle leader because the vet said she's still a little too young for one of those. But I got her a like it, the harness like attaches to the front instead. It's helping, but she still pulls. But she's also very excited to be outside on such a gorgeous day. Here, I'm around your sister again. That was cute. <laughs> Mama called the doctor and the doctor said no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So we just got done eating dinner at Buffalo Wild Wings because, I don't know, we were craving it for some reason. And then we went to a frozen yogurt place that I talked about. Did I talk about it yesterday? I guess I did vlog yesterday. But it's a place that I finally walked into. We have like a few of them in our town but I had never gone into one for some reason. But yesterday I was like, well, let's try that. And it was really good. So I was like, let's get this today too, because it's so nice. So I got strawberry yogurt with uh, strawberries and blueberries as my topping. Kaya got strawberry and vanilla with Lucky Charms, M&Ms, and sprinkles on the top. What did you get on your toppings? You got M&Ms, did you get cereal? And I got cereal. What kind of cereal did you get? The ra rainbow cereal. The rainbow. Oh, fruity tap pebbles. No. No. Oh, I don't. And what else did you get? 
and There's something else on there. I can't remember. I don't, uh, the rest, I don't know what the name is. Okay. So basically, what kind of ice cream did Wyatt get? Did you get chocolate ice cream? Chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah. No. No? Yeah. Double chocolate. Double chocolate. Well, yogurt, technically. What'd you get, John? Double chocolate, vanilla, with walnuts, uh, waffle cone chips, and Reese's peanut butter cup. So the reason why I like this place so much was that you can just, you can have as much yogurt and have as much topping as you want and then they charge you by like how much your finished product weighs. So for four of them, it was... $14. So... It's... Which mine was on the heavy side because I put a lot of fruit, fresh fruit on it. It's like $3.50 per... Yeah, but it's just nice because like you go to like Cold Stone or you go somewhere else or like even to like, you know, when we would go to the summer like ice cream the stops. Soft serve place. They give you so much so and you're much. like, no, I just want a little, you know, so this is nice because you can have as much or as little as you want. So anyway, so yeah, that was fun. Guys, are you excited about your yogurt? Yeah. yeah! <laughs> What's in there? Double really? chocolate, M M M's, Double Oreos. And fruity pebbles and the those chocolate chips with sprinkles on them. Here's over here, kind of. Why it goes? Doesn't that look chocolate. really good? But it tastes good. You gonna try it? Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Mine is over here. Mm. <laughs> Mine's almost gone it. already. I ate it in the car. It's so good. The strawberry yogurt's delicious. And this is Kaya's. <laughs> All right, there's yours. Can I have my spoon? Please. Please. All right, Kaya, try your yogurt and let me tell me what you think. Ooh, mine's good. Kaya got like the most out of all of us, inadvertently. What do you think? <laughs> It is 6.47 p.m. and I am on my way to the gym for an arm workout. Um, I wanted to get it in a little bit earlier so that way I could be home to put the kids to bed. I am exhausted and really hungry even though we just ate not too long ago. Uh, since I've been working out, I've been hungry like around the clock. Like I feel like I'm PMSing but without all the other symptoms, just the whole I'm hungry and want to eat everything. I am really proud of myself though because when we were at uh, BW3's or Buffalo Wild Wings or whatever you call it, I actually like fried foods didn't sound good to me. Like all I wanted was actual chicken wings and a salad. So I mean obviously chicken wings probably aren't the healthiest thing for me. But you know there's my protein in there. But yeah I like the mozzarella sticks and the onion rings and stuff like that which I would usually totally like slam on. I told I just wasn't into. I was like eh, this doesn't sound good at all. So anywho yeah we're gonna go get an arm workout in. I'm really tired. I did not get a lot of good sleep last night. I got a lot of sleep, but it was just very restless. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this workout goes. I'm not sure if today's a cardio day or not, which I'm really hoping it's not. So this week looks pretty busy for us. Uh, tomorrow I need to find Kaya a bathing suit because her last year's one is too small for her and she has swim lessons tomorrow evening. Uh, so does Wyatt, but Wyatt's swim trunks still fit him because we kind of we got a size up last year. And then we have a lot of stuff going on this week, like just random little things that just makes it feel more full, like doctor's appointments. I have a haircut appointment on Wednesday. I'm debating, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should get it trimmed so that way I can like get ready to grow it out or if I should cut it shorter or back short again. It's grown out like an inch and a half already. But John is like really wanting me to go short again. Like he was like, yeah, cut it even shorter this time. So. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I really like it short. I don't get me wrong. I love it short, but it's just like, I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, so I have to decide that by Wednesday. I have that appointment and then Friday morning, we're actually taking the kids out of school to go drive uh, up to Chicago, up over, I don't know what direction that is, uh, to see Gemma, Lisa, and Bill because it's Gemma's first birthday this weekend. We are gonna go spend the weekend out there. We're gonna leave Friday morning at like, about crack of dawn so that way we can stop in Michigan City and do some shopping at the outlet stores there and then we'll head into Chicago and then we'll spend some time with Lisa and Bill and Gemma and then her birthday party is on Saturday and then we'll be coming back Sunday so yeah I'm pretty excited about that I was gonna try to fit in a meetup at some point there in Chicago just because there's um, quite a few of you guys in that area that I like to see when I come out there but I don't I don't know, I feel weird doing that. A, because the weekend's about Gemma and her birthday, and B, 
because I don't know how many people would actually want to meet me while I'm out there since I don't have a whole lot of time to kind of gather a group of people. But yeah, so I will be in that area next weekend. It's kind of like a busy week this week, so I don't know how many videos I get up or anything like that. I do have two baby carrier review videos coming up, so I'm pretty excited about that because a lot of you guys have been asking for more um, mommy slash kid type videos. And then I also have my newly company diaper bag video coming up as well. I'm planning on using it over the weekend to see kind of how I like it. As I mentioned in the Gale satchel bag, I actually like the Gale one better. So it'll be interesting to see how I like the newly one. They're so different from each other, so it's really hard to compare the two. Uh, but I will try as best as I can in that review. Yeah, I'm gonna go try to get a good workout in and then rush home. because My mom has been gone all weekend. She went to, actually she went to Chicago for the weekend to visit some family and friends. So she comes home this evening and I'd like to see her before her work week starts And yeah, hopefully there's not a lot of people here today on a Sunday evening, which it doesn't look like there is so yay for me So my mom just got back from normal Illinois, which is where our, I'm originally from. Kind of. Like second home. I spent most of my, no, well, I guess I spent most of my life here now. But I spent a good half. When you were adopted, you came home to normal. To normal, there you go. And I lived there until about second, third grade, but I have my fondest memories from living there. There's a restaurant called Avanti's, and if you're from Bloomington or normal area, you would know what I'm talking about. It's amazing. My dad used to take, do they sell the koi pond there? They're like a pond, I didn't they? In the restaurant, so oh. I went to the carry outside. So, so we used to go I'm there sure every once in a while on Sundays pond. because it was so good. And there's a sign that said Avanti's, and it's they amazing. They opened a new second restaurant in town. Which oh, is really? Also cool. mm -hmm. If there, if we had an Avanti's here, I would be eating there all the time. They have this sandwich called the gondola, and it's like a 12 foot. That looks more than 12 Inch. inches. Inches, I mean 12 foot. It looks more than 12 inches though. Like I feel like that's 12 inches. That's like 18 inches. They just said whole and half. They didn't say how huh. they are. But it's got like salami, lettuce, cheese, and it's the bread that makes the sandwich. It's just so good. So put a little mayonnaise on it and you're good to go. So my mom brought home some for us, which it's a good, it's a long drive. It's like six hours, isn't it? No, it took me five hours. Five hour drive. So she brought some home for us. So I'm going to eat some of that. I have major indigestion right, indigestion right now. I miss being young and not having heartburn after I worked out. I'm gonna eat, we're gonna take a shower, and what's on right now? The Academy Awards? Academy Awards. And I guess we're gonna watch the Academy Awards. The kids are asleep, Wyatt was so tired from being at the park and um, going for a walk today, so that was good that we did that. But yeah, so I'm gonna let you guys go. I broke a nail, so I'm gonna repaint my nails. And I'll do that while we're watching the Academy Awards. You excited for your Avantis? You've tried Avantis before, actually. One time, right before we got married. Yeah, we took you back to normal Illinois. That was back in 09. Yep.